Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your five minute check-in for Thursday. So we're going to use the Divine Structure deck for the question today. So what do you need to know? So again, quite a few coming out here. So the question is, what is happening to the Divine Masculine during separation? What is happening to the Divine Masculine during separation? So I'm going to use the Divine Masculine on Mass deck here. And that's what I'm feeling he's becoming unmasked. You know, he's taking his mask down. He's starting to see the truth. He's saying, I thought I figured out life until you came into it. So during separation, he's realizing that his life never really made sense until you came into it. So he's trying to make sense of what this means. I kept you on a pedestal and I lost my way back to you. So it's like he saw you as everything. And he does see you as everything, Divine Feminine. But he got lost in that and he scared him. So what he realises is to find his way back to you in the separation, he has to heal himself. Fears around himself, fears about being worthy, about being good enough for you, things he's bound into. And he has to release himself from that. So he's saying to you, during my separation, I am realising how powerful our connection is. So what's next for the connection? going to use divine love messages by Cherie from divine visions so what's next for the connection and the same coming together okay look at this you are the one i dream of so what's next for the connection is you dreaming of each other not just when you are asleep but when you are awake because you're dreaming about the future receiving previews of things to come and when i think of you i smile so some things ahead to smile about so what's next for the connection? Smiles, dreams, connecting, feeling the energy and the power of the love. So what's challenging the connection? I love this. So see why these cards came out? Because they're giving you a mini reading here. So what's next for the connection? Dreaming of each other, smiling when you're thinking about each other. And that's moving you towards each other. But what's challenging the connection? So I'm going to use Divine Mask and Unmask for this. So what's challenging the connection? So the card is, my first reaction to anything new is no, but I slowly adjust. So what's channeling is, what's cha challenging is adjustments are required. And we channel this sometimes through our feelings. So he's saying, first of all, my reaction is no to anything new. So this is where he's been in the past, where he's saying, I'm not leaving my partner. It's too stressful or it's too challenging to me to do that or Whatever he said he can't do to be together with you, he's now doing it. So he's saying, I'm slowly adjusting. So what's challenging the connection is it takes time for these adjustments. It takes time for the masculines to say yes to themselves and to say no to everything else. So when they say yes to themselves, they say yes to you. Will I get my apology? Will I get my I'm sorry? Well, of course he's sorry. He's sorry about the things he's done. Say what you have to, and I will not judge you, I promise. So, yeah, he's going to apologise to you. And he's saying to you, you can say what you want to me about that. So, in other words, he's saying, if you want to shout at me and tell me what a bad person I am, and I promise you that's okay, you can get off your chest when I apologise how you feel and the things I've done. So, he knows what he's done. He knows he's done you wrong. He knows he's caused you pain. And he's saying... Just say what you have to. It's like he's bracing himself for it. He's bracing himself for impact because he knows that when he comes to you, there could be some impact there. In other words, you know, you say, why have you left me? Why have you done this? You bringing up the past and he's saying, I won't judge you if you bring all that up. I promise you. But as a divine feminine, we learn to let go of the past anyway. We don't need to bring up the blame because love does not hold any records of wrongs. You know, all we need to know is that the love is there and that's more important. And what is happening to the divine feminine during separation? So I love this because this is a message about separation and what's next for the connection. It's about reunion and separation coming to an end. So what's happening for the divine feminine during separation? Jumping out. I love you. So during separation, we realize that we love our twin. We realize just how much we love our twin. And seeing you triggers past pain within me. So during separation, we heal past pain. Especially if we see them on social media 
or we see them around and we can't communicate or we see them in our mind. It triggers past pain, pain from our past, core wounds, previous lifetimes, things we need to heal, but also things connected with the past that we need to heal to be free. Forgiveness heals. So it's all about healing. So again, we're being reminded that separation is a very healing part of the journey. It's the preparation for our union. It's where both twins realize that the love is real and the love is mutual. And it's where we learn to love ourselves and we learn to love our creator. And we learn to have faith in the journey and trust the divine plan. So what's next is smiling about each other, smiling when you're thinking about the connection, being grateful for the connection, dreaming about each other and creating that way to come back together in divine time. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.